to the LifePoint Giles kids. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a video that you watched of the Bible story for today. Today's story was about how Jesus actually met and picked his disciples. Disciples are people that spread Jesus' word alongside him. So many people were coming out to hear what Jesus had to say that he needed to have some helpers. Can you name any of the names that you remember from the videos of Jesus' Jesus's disciples? I'll give you a couple minutes to see if you can name some of them off. There are 12 of them, so the first couple were Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. Which one of them, how many of them, were fishermen? That was at the beginning of the video. Do you remember how many of them were fishermen? Right, four of them. Jesus said, drop your nets and I will teach you how to fish. And they followed Jesus. How many of them were brothers? Right, two sets of brothers. The first two, Simon called Peter and Andrew were brothers, and then James and John were brothers. What did Matthew do as a profession? Or what was his work? Right, he was a tax collector. Did people like tax collectors during that time? No, they didn't. And then he went ahead and had a party at his house with Jesus. And he had himself and the other disciples and the leaders were very upset by that. They said, you need to be not hanging out with people who are not good. And Jesus said, I came to save sinners on the earth. Jesus also came to earth to show what God is like and to save people from their sins. Why we are Jesus' disciples when we trust in Jesus. So we too can be Jesus' disciples by trusting him in him. And what else? Right, sharing the word of God and Jesus and our faith with other people who may not believe. Last week I asked you to go ahead and um, figure out something that you could share with people who may not be believers, and I hope you did that, whether it was a video or your coloring sheet that you colored or just talking to your friends on the phone or over Zoom or over Google Meets. So I hope you did that, and this week I'm going to ask you to be a Jesus, one of Jesus' disciples by thinking of another way that you can do that again this week. So we can share the good news of the fact that Jesus died on the cross for us to save our sins and that we are Christian and that we, we trust in our faith even more so now as we give up our worry and all our concerns to Jesus and to God and may then support us in that. I will email the coloring sheet and the Bible videos to you parents if you'll go ahead and also use website or the Life Point Kids Facebook page. Also, there's a YouTube channel. All three of those platforms are places that you can get these things. Have a good week, and I'll see you next week.